Today we are going to create this 2D target indicator for off-screen targets. I have set up a simple project. I have a target manager which, to which an off-screen target indicator script has been attached. This is an empty script. We are going to fill this in. I have a simple 2D sprite for the target. And also in the prefix folder, I have created a 2D sprite for the arrow that will be pointing towards our target. So let's open up our target manager script. Now inside this script, first of all, we need an array of the targets that we want the arrow to look at. So let's create a public game object array of targets. We need the actual arrow to spawn. So that would be the indicator prefab. We need access to the sprite renderer so that we can calculate its width and height. And using that, we will basically subtract that from the whole view so that the arrow always remains inside the camera view. Then the sprite width. And we also need a private float sprite height. Next, we need private camera access to the camera and we would create a dictionary which would hold our indicator and the target. Now in the start function, we would get the main camera, camera.main we would get the sprite renderer component attached to the indicator prefab. We need to get the bounds for the sprite renderer. So sprite render targets. So let's do that. So we would say for each target in the targets array, instantiate the indicator for it and add it to the dictionary and we would also say the indicator dot game or indicator dot set active false as by default we don't want them to be active we want them to activate when the player is outside of the camera view now in the update function so let's go to the update for each key value pair game object game object in the target indicators we want to get the target from it which is the key target this is going to take my target and my indicator as parameters. So let's quickly create this. Now inside this function, first of all, we need to convert from the word to the viewport because it is more appropriate for determining whether something is off screen relative to the camera's current view. So we would say variable screen position equals to camera dot word to view port point and we are going to do that for the target and now we need to check if something is off screen is off screen so we would simply need to check if the screen position dot x is less than equal to zero and the screen position dot x is greater than or equal to one it means that we are off screen along the width and we can do the same for the height less than equal to zero or screen position dot y is greater than equal to one so which means we are not on the screen along the height of the view so if we are off screen then we would simply say target dot set active true else target 
dot set active false now the next thing we need to do is actually determine the position of the sprite so that it follows the actual target so for that we need to first of all convert the sprite dimensions from word space to viewport space so let's do that variable sprite size in viewport and this would be really simple so we will do camera dot word to viewport point and we want a new vector 3 this will take in the sprite width the sprite height and for the z we will use 0 and we would say minus we want to subtract what the camera dots world to viewpoint we want to subtract it from the center of the screen so vector 3 dot 0 so this will give us the size of the sprite in the viewport now for the word position what we are going to do is we are going to convert this uh, back to the word position and this is going to be camera dot viewport to word position and we are going to convert the screen position and one more thing we need to do is we need to actually clamp these values so that our spread doesn't go off screen so for the x we would do something like mathf dot clamp and this would take in my screen position dot x the sprite size in viewport dot x and one minus the sprite size in viewport dot x and for the y we are going to do screen position dot y is equal to math f dot clamp screen position dot y into sprite size in viewport dot y and one minus sprite size in viewport dot y and for the word position the z should be zero as this is a 2d target indicator and finally we are going to say that indicator dot transform dot position equals to world position and we also want our indicator to rotate towards the target so for that we will calculate the direction first target dot transform dot position minus the indicator dot transform dot position we need to calculate the angle then which would be a math f dot 8 and 2 and the angle between the y and the x axis and we need to convert this to radians so math f dot rad to degree so this would convert it from radians to degrees and finally we would simply set the rotation using quaternion dot euler and we need to pass it a new vector 3 which would take in the angle and we are only let's save this go back to unity and let's assign our targets our indicator prefab and let's hit the play button so my target is not active there is an issue in the script i think so let me see so this should be indicator dot set active true and indicator dot set active false let's save it go back hit the play button and if i move my target the arrow follows it now what if we have more than one target so for instance if i have another target one and i assign it to the array and hit the play button so if my target one moves here and my second target moves this way as you can see both the arrows are following their appropriate targets so our script is basically working 
so i hope you guys found this video educational and entertaining i'll see you next time